What's so up guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make a travel agency in NADN. This travel agency can plan trips, look for car rentals, hotels, and plane tickets all automatically, just based off of the user's input. I'm Stefan, the founder of Agenify AI. At Agenify AI, we create custom AI solutions for businesses just like yours. And if you're interested in a custom AI solution that can speed up your business and lower costs, make sure to book a consultation in the link in the description to my website, agenifyai.net. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so this is the workflow. As we see here, it consists of a agency owner and then three sub agents, which one is the trip planner, the local expert and the car rental manager. So those names are self-explanatory. They all handle three separate tasks. And this AI agency can, not AI, travel agency, can handle two communication channels now. So it can handle emails and chat messages. So let's say, hey, I want to go to Madrid for seven. No, let's just say I want to go to Madrid. I was going to ask us a couple questions. You say, first question, where are you traveling from? And I say Los Angeles. Perfect. Los Angeles to Madrid is going to be an amazing travel. As you can see, it's very like human-like. And then we can see next question: What's your budget for this trip? Say four thousand dollars. Excellent. Four thousand dollars gives us a great budget to work with for your Madrid adventure. Next question: How long are you planning to stay in Madrid? So let's say from the 12th of October to the 19th. That'll be seven days. Next question, would you like a, to rent a car during your stay? I'm gonna say, yes, I would. And also gives recommendation we can do public transportation, but I'd like a rental. Okay, what type of vacation experience are you looking for? You can see cultural immersion, Vibrant nightlife and dining scenes, a relaxed leisurely pace, adventure, and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to say nightlife. Now I was going to ask us one more question. Final question. What's your timeline for this booking chair? I'm going to say as soon as possible. Now he's going to delegate the tasks to the trip planner, then to the local expert, and then to the car rental manager. So I'm going to wait for that. Now he's going to go to the local expert. Now it's going to go to the car rental manager. I 
Now the car rental manager is looking for car rentals and is going to report back to the agency owner when, when it's done. Okay, now the agency owner is putting it all together and planning the whole itinerary. Well, this whole run usually takes about three minutes and it's very token intensive. But it's a cool thing uh, to look at. So, and it's here, your ultimate Madrid nightlife experience, uh, adventure. So, day one, arrival and Grand Via welcome. Arrive via flight from LAX. Pick up rental car from $42 a week. Check it to hotel. Evening, start with sunset drinks at Vinci Rooftop Bar, Grand Via. Dinner at Tapes Crawl. And then late night at Bar Cock, <laughs> Classic Cocktail Bar. And here we can see day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, and then day eight is the departure back. As we can see here, I'm told the budget breakdown. So I said 4,000, and then it breaks down the budget here, and then the links. So flights, hotels, car rentals, and activities. Uh, you're all set for an incredible Madrid night and life adventure. The city's legendary after dark scene awaits you. So yeah, that's basically how it works. So it works the same way with email. I'll show you guys how to actually set it up for email. So I'm going to email the travel agency. Travel and say, I, I want to go to Madrid. And here I'm going to wait for the email to come in. Now this takes a, like a minute for the email to actually arrive. There we go. I, I want to go to Madrid. And I'll just trigger that. Okay, um, you want to do the find below. Now this was working for some reason it isn't. Now you just want to do the ID of the message. I'm going to do curly brackets an expression and then dollar sign json dot id as you can see that's the id now let's try this again as you can see it worked and now it's going to put an output here as you can see hello uh, how exciting this and that let's start with the first question where are you traveling from and we can see here it's not sending a message it's replying to one. So I'll show you guys what's the difference. So here, if it um, sent a new message, it would send a whole new email and it would just fill up someone's inbox. Now, if we do reply and then we go to the Gmail trigger and then just drag the message ID, it'll actually just reply in the same thread. And then here in output, you just put the output of the AI agent. So I'll execute that step. And we see here, it sent it. There we go. See, it replies in the same thread. See, hello, how exciting, this and that. So it basically works the same way as this top one, 
with the chat, except this one's connected to Gmail and it has a reply message note at the end. And the simple memory works differently. So here, when you're using a chat message, the simple memory uh, session ID is just session ID from the chat. And then you would just want to change that to message ID here, which would be json.id. As you can see, that is the correct path. Now, let's get into how this thing works up here. So first it starts out with a chat message and the agency owner has a big system prompt, basically telling it, okay, here, you are a travel agency owner. Your job is to delegate certain tasks to the agent you deem as most relevant to do the task. And then I list the agents it has, and then what to do when a user wants to go somewhere or need help figuring out a trip to a certain location. First ask them these questions. Example after you get these, and then here's an example of how the workflow should work. So what agent it should invoke each, each time. So after you get these answers first, use the trip planner to find the best hotels and plane tickets after the trip planner gets back to you. Then use the local expert to find local activities to do at the specific location. After the local expert gets back to you, use the car rental manager to find a good, good car rentals. Here is what to tell the agent. So this basically like a whole company, not a company, like a small business, and they're communicating with each other. These sub agents are communicating with the agency owner. So I'm just telling the agency owner how to communicate with them, what to tell them. See here, find plane tickets in location to vacation destination from dates and find hotel and location from dates within budget and insert the links to each page you provide for local experts like this and then the car rental manager and then how the output should look and you can change this but I like it like this where it just plans out the days. And then the rules, you put the current date, would be down here because most of these AI models are in 2024 for some reason. And then always like get tasks, always use local expert for local activities, basically just giving it guardrails. Now I'm gonna go into execution and show you guys how this whole thing works. Okay. You see each execution takes around three minutes to process and a lot of tokens. You probably use a cheaper model. I'm using Cloud Sonnet 4 for this, and then that would make this ex execution way cheaper. So let me see here. The trip planner first gets a message from the agency owner. Find plane tickets from Los Angeles to Madrid from October 12th to 19th, 2025, and find hotels in Madrid from October 12th to the 19th. 25 within four thousand dollar budget and insert the links to each page you provide you can here this the output and here i put a system message as guardrails so telling it kind of giving it a little brain so it knows like okay i'm this and the agency owner is messaging me now which is basically the prompt here and you just turn that define by ai which means the agency owner would define what the prompt is with this so i'll show you guys in a second what that is and then here it uses Tavily. So Tavily is a tool which allows AI agents to search on the web and scrape websites. So you can see here, it searches for the search queries, best hotels, Madrid nightlife areas. I don't even know what the, how to read that. And then October 25 booking sites. Now we can see here the most, it gives it every response, it gives it a score. So the high score is basically the best search result it can get and it'll most likely output this and then we can see the relevance goes lower and lower and we'll show you guys how to set up Tavily so you're gonna want to I'm gonna go back to the editor I'm gonna go into the Tavily tool here you can see the query is automatically defined by the model by um, this model here not by the agency owner but by the trip planner so it's basically saying it's in inputting the search query. And then here you want the operation to be query source search, and then set automatically. And you want to connect to Tavily account. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Go to Tavily, you want to log in, then go to your overview. Then here you'll see API keys and just create a new one. Name it and then copy that and go back to NADN, create a new credential and just paste that there. And that's pretty much how you set up Tavily for this workflow. Then for the local experts, the same thing. Now let's get into this prompt here. So this prompt is basically, I'll show you right now. I'm gonna click X. 
it says from AI prompt user message. So you can see from AI, well, it doesn't show here. The AI is basically putting in a prompt into this agent and communicating with the AI through this user prompt. Then the system message is basically giving this AI a brain. So like this AI agent and brains are like, you are a local expert for planning local activities, working for a travel agency. Your job is to search the internet and plan activities at the location that the user requests using the tally tool you have. Okay. For the car rental, it is exactly the same. And what you want to do is give all of these agents their own memory. Because if you give them the same memory, it'll all get messed up and they won't really know what they're doing. So the memory is basically a context for them. So here the agency owner has its own memory, which has a context with a link of 100. And memory is basically how the agent knows the, the AI knows the context of the conversation. So without this memory, it wouldn't know, okay, so this session ID has these messages in it, and we've talked about this. So it connects the session IDs to the chats, so it knows what it's talking about in that session ID. And that's what this chat message uh, node passes over. It passes over the session ID, the chat input, and the user message. Then here, we have separate memories for each employee or each sub-agent, which is also the session ID. So it knows uh, that this chat is happening here, here, and it stores the re the results it gets here too. So it knows not to search for the same thing over and over again. Then here I use the Open Router chat model with Claude Sonnet 4. I found it to work best for this because it's good at writing, it's good at reasoning. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can find the download to this workflow in the description in my Discord server. And if you have any recommendations for me uh, to add to this AI agent workflow, let me know. I'm open to critique and any recommendations. If you need a AI system built for your business, feel free to email me. The email will be in the description, or you can book a consultation on my website, which will also be in the description. Or you can just message me directly through Discord, and you can find my Discord in the Discord server. I'll be listed as owner in there. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If this helped you out, or if you find this interesting, make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.